personal. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit more about some of the fights on that Showtime schedule that was announced. So I'm going to run through a couple here in this video. Uh, we'll start with the first one, and that's going to be a very intriguing matchup. It's crazy. It's crazy how 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 quickly things can change in boxing. But you're going to have Alberto Pueyo putting his WBA 140 pound title on the line as he takes on, you know, the face of boxing, the real face of boxing, Rolando Roli Romero, and, and and that's a joke, guys. I don't actually think Roli is the face of boxing, so. Don't get your panties in a bunch and get in the comments and start saying, he's not the face of boxing, true school. Because I know some of you guys don't know how to take a joke. So he's taking on Roley, right? Roley, he's coming off that loss of Tank, but his stock as a fighter has went up. You know, um, it's a it's a sink or swim sort of a fight for Roley in a sense because, you know, he, he, I don't think he could ill afford uh, another loss. And, you know... I know for a fact that he had some time, he had, he had a bit of a hard time making the weight at 135 when he fought Javante Davis. So this is at 140. So I would expect a, a, a stronger, more fully hydrated Roley. Now, this is an interesting fight because although Alberto Puebla was champion and although he is a top level fighter, you know, I think he's beatable. Like I think he's a beatable fighter. Um, we've seen in his in his uh two fights that of, of note you know against um Bakhtiar Ahmedov we won the who, who won the title against the same one that fought Mario Barrios and people thought uh he beat Barrios uh we saw some vulnerabilities in that fight also go look at um what was the other fight he said a couple he had that one and then he had another one who, who was the other fight he had I gotta look this up man I mean be forgetting like these dudes resume sometimes it's harder it's hard, it's hard to remember all this boxing but I do a pretty good job I know he fought. I know he fought the dude um, Akhmedov, the dude that fought Barrios, and you know he had a tough time with him. But who else did Pueyo fight? Who, who else is on the Pueyo resume that he fought? I know he fought Bajan, he fought Bajan Owens, who beat Kujatilo Abdul Kakarot. But there was another fight. I don't know why I can't remember it right now. So it was Akhmedov. I guess it was just. I guess it was just Akhmedov. So anyway, he fought Akhmedov. There are vulnerabilities there. He's a southpaw, taller fighter. A guy that uh, does a lot of things very, very well, but I wouldn't say he's like a dominant in any one particular area of boxing. He's just a, a well-rounded well fighter altogether, Alberto Pueyo. And I think although Roley, Roley may not be as technically polished as Alberto Pueyo, I believe if he, if he can just if he can just tweak and clean up a couple things up technically, like as far as you know, not not coming in with his head. Uh, when he when he throw, especially when he throws the right hand, you know, not squaring up as much when he throws that right hand, you know, these kind of things will go a long way towards him winning a fight like this. Because when you talk about explosiveness and punching power, he's got Pueyo, I think, beat in both of those departments. So it really becomes for Roley a fight where can he get Pueyo? Like can he can he, can he actually like make Pueyo exchange with him? And if he can, I think he can win. But if not, then I think Pueyo will win the fight. But it's it's a good fight, man. And I. It would be awesome for boxing, I think, if Roley could become champion, you know. So, uh, th 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 those, my, those are my little thoughts on that fight. And then in other news, right, uh, another fight that was announced. And there was a couple of, a couple of fights. It, it, they'll, they'll both be on June 24th. Uh, you're going to have Carlos Adamas taking on Julian Williams. Yes, that Julian Williams. Julian Williams hasn't looked great in years. I mean, it's been a while since he had a big win. He had to go back four years to find his last, like, really big win against Jared Hurd. He lost to Vladimir Hernandez not too long ago, but you know he he he's he's he's, he's giving it a go. He, he's testing himself, and I can't I can't knock any man who's testing himself. He's fighting a guy in Carlos Adamas who has technical skills, but can have, but has punchy power. And Adamas has seemed to have turned his career around. This is a guy in Adamas that was highly touted coming out of the the, the, the Dominican Republic, and then he had that loss of Patrick Teixeira a couple years ago, and now you know, he's beating Sergey Derevchenko. He beat the brakes off of uh, Juan Montiel. So, you know, if he beats Julian Williams, there's no reason why Adamas should be looking at a title shot next. But it'll be a good test for him because we know that J-Rock, when it comes to skills and boxing IQ, he's never lacked that. It's always been a durability issue and a, and a thing with his chin. So just as long as he doesn't get get touched with big, uh, big sh uh, too many big shots, this fight can wind up being very intriguing for uh, between him and Adamas. Um... 
you know, he kind of has the Tony Harrison syndrome, Julian Williams. So that's a good fight. You know, Adamas right now, I think, is establishing himself as one of the better middleweights out there um, in a very thin weight class. So that's a good scrap. And then you're going to have Eric Salubin taking on Luis Arias. Now, I like this fight because both these guys, first and foremost, they do have their soft Florida connections. You know, Luis Arias used to train down here at Boca Powell. Eric Lubin trains here now at uh, Stacey McKinley's gym with, with Kevin Cunningham. But it's a good fight. You know, Lubin's caught off that loss to Fondora that he had last year, um, in which he got his, his face completely rearranged. Um, but he showed a lot of heart and dropped Fondora in a fight of the year candidate. And he's trying to get back into title contention at 54 and, and really let, let, let it be known that he, he's that guy. And then also, Lubin did state recently that basically, like, he would like to fight at 160, and he thinks he could beat the top guys at 160. So, Luis Arias is a guy that had success at 160 just back in 2021 when he beat Jared Hurd. So, this could be like a testing of the water type of a fight for Lubin. And you know, with Arias, right? He's told me when I interviewed him back in 2021 as well um, that when he's at 154 and he's trained by Salas and he's focused, he's a, he's a hard guy to beat. And I, and I would agree, you know, he's a he's an inconsistent fighter, but. You know, on his night, you know, he could be a, a tough guy. And, you know, when you factor in that Lubin just had that fight with Fundura, who knows? This fight could be a lot closer than you think. So I, I, that's going to be a good fight. Obviously, Lubin's the more polished fighter. Lubin, I think, is the better counterpuncher and things like that. But um, I wouldn't count out Arias, especially after what happened to Lubin in the last fight against Fundura. So uh, that's my take on some of the upcoming fights on the Showtime schedule. Roly Puello. Adamus, Julian Williams, Eric Slubin, and Luis Arias. Listen, man, if I gotta if I gotta call PBC broke for them to make these great fights happen, to make for, us, for them to give us a nice schedule of boxing like this, then then, then I'm all for it. So uh, yeah, let, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding, Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the Untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.